In this video, we're going to solve this system of equations by using substitution. Substitution requires us to replace a variable with what it represents in a different equation. However, this problem is a bit different in that we don't have an x equals equation or a y equals equation. Our system simply reads 3x plus 2y equals 1 and x minus 5y equals 6. Currently, we have no variable that's completely alone. However, you may notice in the second equation, we have one variable that's almost alone. The x does not have a coefficient. Well, technically, it has a coefficient of 1, which we don't write, but you might be able to call this x a lone variable in that it has no number friend to keep him company. We're going to get that lone variable completely alone on the left side of the equation. We can do that by getting rid of that minus 5y and adding 5y to both sides. When we do, we get this equation that is x equals 6 plus 5y or 5y plus 6, same thing. We now have that x equals equation we were looking for to make our substitution. If x is equal to or the same as 6 plus 5y, I can look at the other equation, and in the other equation where I see an x, I can replace that x with what it represents, the 6 plus 5y. Let's do that. I'm going to move over here to the right. It says 3x, but we're going to replace that x with what it represents, the 6 plus 5y. The equation continues, plus 2y equals 1. This gives me an equation that we should be very comfortable solving. We know we distribute the 3 to get 18, plus 15y, plus 2y equals 1. Combine like terms. The like terms are 15y and 2y, giving us 18 plus 12, whoops, not 12, 17, sorry. 17y equals 1. It's a two-step equation. Subtract 18 from both sides. 17y equals negative 17. And finally, divide both sides by 17, which will tell us that y is equal to negative 1. We have found the y value that makes both of these equations true. We still need to find the x value, however, and we can still find it. What we're going to do to find out what x is equal to, we look through our work to see if we have an x equals equation anywhere. We do. Remember, we got the x completely alone. We have this x equals equation. To find out what x equals, x equals 6 plus 5y. Well, we just found out what y is equal to. y is equal to 1, negative 1. So we'll replace the y with negative 1. Order of operations from here, 6 minus 5 when we multiply, and so x is equal to positive 1. We now have the pair of numbers that makes this equation true, x comma y, 1 comma negative 1. This pair of numbers will make both of the original equations true statements. It's the only combination of numbers that works in both equations. We found that combination of numbers by first getting a variable completely alone, preferably the one that has no coefficient or number in front of it, and substituting that expression into the other untouched equation. That gave us an equation we could solve, and then use that to find the last variable.